This is video of 64-year-old Larry Jefferson going home after visiting a store at the corner of 6th Street and Winkler Avenue Tuesday. Just moments after he started crossing the street, he was hit by a car. Witness say that a black car had struck my uncle and kept on going. His niece Nicole says it was a call she never expected to get. An officer telling her they found her uncle Larry lying on the ground, severely injured. How did he get hit? He didn't cross in a wheelchair. I thought someone was still pedestrian in a wheelchair. I'm hoping that Uncle Larry can pull through this and as he's pulling through, the suspect can come forward. Jefferson was transported here to Yulevel Hospital, where he currently is in critical condition, hooked up to a ventilator in the ICU. It's a situation one city leader says is alarming, but not surprising. Dirk Gowan is the Metro Public Works Transportation Division Manager. He's been tracking pedestrian-involved vehicle crashes since 2006. During 2020, we had fewer drivers on the road. With fewer drivers, that means we have our speeds go up. Which is what he says led to 2020 becoming a record-breaking year with 29 people being hit and killed by a car. So far this year, there have already been 13 people hit and killed. Really falls back on the motors. We have lots of distracted driving. The other thing is our vehicles are getting bigger. We got more SUVs on the road. We've got more trucks on the road. He says the city is working on fixing the issue with its street right sizing program. The initiative is turning four lane streets into two lane streets with a center turning lane. He says it's a method that's proven to reduce the number of serious accidents. As for the Jefferson family, they're staying by Larry's side in the ICU, hoping anyone who saw something will come forward. Don't put this on a back burner. Don't let a person get away with this. They do it one time, they might struggle again. You never know. So you might want to catch them. In Louisville, Menashe Kungwari, WLKY News.